All right, uh, this is uh, Jeff Stanley here, and I'm gonna talk to you about subtleties of uh, you can that you can add to chords and rhythms and such. And so here's an example, an original piece I wrote, uh, Live and Learn, and there's a couple subtleties in here over a couple chords that I think you might uh, like, and then you can add to your own music. Or you could cover this, but then please give me royalties, or I'll be bummed. <laughs> is an E minor 7th, adding the thick string if you want, uh, but the thing is this is just a E minor 7th in and of itself, just like that. What I did was take the 2nd and 3rd finger of the fret hand, in this case my left hand, uh, if you're a left hander it would be your right hand obviously, your fret hand, but this case, that's got music in and of itself, but my point is, in the, in the strumming pattern I can chord, notice that when I get to that G bar chord, standard G, standard tuning, I just slide in from the second to the third fret, so it's a quick slide, it's on the one E, the first two sixteenth notes of, of that, that um, fret hand too I'm emphasizing and you can check out another video of mine on strumming patterns that discusses this a little bit but it's like the right hand is a snare and I'm not a beatboxer but you know what I mean so um, so those are some subtleties you can add that hammer on to the E minor 7 or D minor 7 whatever wherever you want to throw that and sliding into chorus is really fun. So, uh, all right, enjoy. <laughs> 